How do composers know what sounds good together? They use a tool that's available to any musician. In this video, I am sharing what the circle of fifths is and how you can use it to create your own music, even as a beginner piano player. Be sure to stay to the end because I'm sharing a bonus tip for creating even more music. If we haven't met, I'm Rosemary Penner, online piano teacher and composer at Must Love Music. And I make learning piano fun, simple, and interactive with some creative ideas and resources to bring on those smiles. A few months ago, one of my kids, he decided he wanted to learn guitar. And it's been a lot of fun talking music with him, even though I don't play guitar at all. Now, one of our talks recently ended with me sharing and showing him a tool that allows him to create music on his guitar. And it's the same tool that I have used with my students. If you haven't watched our previous videos in this beginner piano series, check the description. We are always building on the previous videos, and so it'll make it a lot easier for you as I'm talking about these chords if you've experienced them and explored them a bit on the piano beforehand. Just like life, chords have relatives. They may be close, they may sound horrible when they get together. Just like real life, this is the way it is. And we use a tool to show this called the circle of fifths. So on the screen here, you can see that there's a ton of information if we know how to use it. Now this image found almost anywhere on the internet, I've created one for this video, so I'm not breaking any copyright. It'll let you know which chords are close and which ones maybe aren't so close and might not sound so good together. Composers like myself, we use something similar to this. You know, anybody creating music can use this to create great sounding music. To figure out what chords are close and sound well together, let's imagine a pie shape over this particular circle of fifths. Actually, let's add one. I know it's in black, the line is not huge, but we can see that in the key of C major, there are certain chords that are gonna to sound together and all the ones that are within that pie, those are the ones that sound good together. We've got C major, that's gonna be our home chord in this case, F major, G major, D major, D minor, A minor, and B minor all sound good. The great thing is that we can play these chords in any order and immediately start creating music. The key here is we wanna start with a C major chord if we're in the key of C major, just like this pie shows us, and we probably want to end on C major as well. Rules remain to be broken, but not at the beginning when we're learning. We're going to start with C major, but then we can play any one of these that we want. I'm going to choose three of these at random. I'll let you know what they are as I play them, just to demonstrate what this looks like. So C major, I'm going to go down to A minor, Let's go G major, and then C. Oh, that's not so bad, right? And you'll notice I added a chord inversion at the end, which we've talked about in other videos. If you're unsure about how to create any of these chords, make sure that you watch the major chords on piano video and the minor chords on the piano video for extra help. Once you're done and you've kind of tested out a bunch of these, write down the ones you like the best. That way you can create something where maybe you're playing the chords in your left hand and you're playing a little melody in the right. You can play these with rhythm like I did, you can add melody, really the sky is the limit. You can use what we've done in previous videos to help you out with this. So what is the circle of fifths? It's a powerful tool that helps you instantly see how chords are related. It's a shortcut to know what will sound really good together and what might not sound as great. It's also the fastest way to sound great on the piano and practice different skills. Now, I did tell you that there was a bonus tip that I would tell you about. This pie shape that I have on the screen right now, you can actually tilt that so that you can play in any key. So if I wanted to play in the key of F major, for example, I'm gonna tilt so that that pie shape has F major right in the middle. And if I wanted to play in, say, A major, that's on the right-hand side, I'm gonna keep tilting 
doing it until it's right over and centered on that A major. And I will immediately know what three major chords and three minor chords sound good. If you're starting this from a minor, it works pretty similarly. You'll find there's probably one chord of the six that isn't going to sound as good. So just keep that in mind. So I'd love to hear from you. What questions do you have about the circle of fifths? This video, we barely scratched the surface of what this amazing tool can do. Considering it's a beginner lesson, I wanted to give you a very simple way to know what you could focus on and what you could ignore. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. This way you will know about next week's video, which is about how to make chords, piano chords sound amazing, even as a beginner piano student. We're going to take a lot of the things that we've already looked at and we're going to make sure that you really understand them and that you have practice with them. Thank you so much for watching.